What is going on YouTube? Today we have a 2018 Mazda CX-9. I want to say thank you to Barry Dovey for letting us do this review. If you're looking for a Mazda, hit them up. There it is. I'll link all the descriptions and contact information in the video below. So without further ado, here we go. 2018 Mazda CX-9 all-wheel drive. This is the signature, so it's the top of the line. Go right there, you get 20 in the city and 26 highway for a combined 23 miles per gallon. Sticker on this one is 45290. 2018 Mazda CX-9, all-wheel drive. Now this is a jet black Mika Auburn is the color in the inside, Auburn. So remember that, look at that leather on the inside. It's Auburn. Color on the outside is jet black. Take a look around the vehicle for a second. You got the chrome shiny right there. Nice aggressive headlights, front end, nice big grill. Massive Mazda logo right there. That grill is lovely. This video is not gonna do it justice, but in person, you gotta see it. Nice aluminum wheels right there. LED in the turn, turn signal right there. Turn signal LED. Nice chrome on the bottom of the doors. You got your roof rails up there. Sunroof as well, and it's open. Chrome accent around the windows all the way through. Gives it a nice touch. Dual exhaust in the back as well. There you go. Mazda Badger, Sky Active Technology. Got the uh, push button on the door. So if you got your key in your pocket, you just hit the button and unlock it. So right here, you got the two tone leather. You got the black right here with the Auburn brushed aluminum. Everything is nice and soft touch. That's soft touch, that soft touch. Got your drink holder down there. Nice little storage pocket. Got the wood right here. Feels real good too. Typical buttons. Got the Bose audio system there. That's your key fob. And this, this leather is really nice. It's that Auburn, that's the color of it. It's like a dark sandy brown reddish brown so that's how the dashboard and everything looks from the outside it's a beautiful car inside here so let's get in and show you the inside of it so push button start start the car you just hit that button there and it starts it up we're not gonna start it up yet but that is how you start it up just gonna let you see the gauges and everything show you how to, now this window is automatic oh no I thought it was but that's that window those are typical buttons right there you got your lift gate right there traction control parking sensor Let's turn off your parking um, sensors right there. So you got 160 on the dash. Actually, I'll turn that off for now. So you do have a sport mode right here. You got the dual climate. You got the heated seats, heated steering wheel right there. Let me actually start it up for you guys to see. So you just step on that, starts it up. Just hit the I agree for that. Typical Mazda infotainment system. Very easy to work, user friendly. You do have navigation in this vehicle. 
there you go navigation man this this leather let me just let me stop for a minute just it is this leather in this vehicle man it's is lovely like it's got the ambient lighting right there too in the inside and it also it's right here as you can see right there this is real wood i think too it feels it feels real good and sturdy and then right here you got the heads up display you might not be able to see it in here but you got the heads up display right there you got the speaker right there everything is soft touch and feels premium so you open this you have a lot of storage space in there like i said you got the dual climate right here um turn it on so dual climate you gotta have that nowadays so hit that button turn it off sport mode right there sport and regular mode which is probably comfort you got your brake parking brake release navigation home button music like i said you can control this through here or you just touch it bam simple easy to touch apple carplay android auto wood right here all of this all of this feels nice cup holders right there this this leather man <laughs> i can't say it enough times this leather in this car is crazy cx9 on the on the rug i'm not a big fan of just black leather and all of that I, I like to have a little pizzazz to the car you know and this right here is delivering you got the bose sound system right up there too you got your garage links and all of that stuff you got the sunroof right up here it's open it's on the showroom floor <laughs> you got your mirror close that up just like that you got your brushed and aluminum with the all burn and a black right there on the door man these seats are comfortable too like look just take take a look at that seat right there you can't tell me that leather ain't beautiful all right but back to this so right here you got the center console splits you got the usb cords right there charge your phone you got a little sd card slot right there if i can open it there you go you can put the sd card in there i guess that's for the um the map for your navigation you got the aux cord if i didn't say that already close that up so that is that so let me take y'all to show y'all underneath the hood well let me give y'all that exhaust note real quick So that was a little quick exhaust note of it you know nice family car get it inside and show y'all the back uh let's see it's lock. unlock it there you go now look at that leather from from back right here you know just take a look at it for a second that is beautiful back to this so right here you got the uh soft touch material right here got the all burn brushed aluminum thick door handles right there shiny black metallic material with the chrome accent and bold sound system cup holder storage sunshade right here take it down you know this is good for you if you got little kids like in a car seat you know especially got the newborn hold on camera gotta focus come on camera you can do it so there you go so like i said if you got a newborn you know how stubborn that is so pull that up right there get the sun out of them even if you got grown-ups back here you know don't nobody want the sun all on them so oh man this this is a lot of room like that seat is in a comfortable position for me to drive in and i have all of this leg room like i probably got like eight nine inches of room right here so you got a dual pocket setup right here so you got that pocket right here and you got that pocket right there so 
set your stuff back there so you do have the heated seats back here let me let me turn it on for y'all to see real quick so you got the uh, heated seats back here you got the climate control for your passengers back here now take a look at that dash from back here that that leather man that all burn I know I probably said it like a hundred times <laughs> You have got to see this. So that door over there, it has the sunshade too as well. You just pull that up, prop it up there on them latches. You got the light right there. Like I said, sunroof. Now this vehicle does have a third row. So if you're looking for something with a third row, keep this in mind. Cup holders back there. I'm gonna see if I can get back here for y'all in just a few. So let me turn that off and we're gonna take a look in the trunk real quick in the, in the trunk here so you just hold the button on the key fob and there's also a button in there as well you got the camera on the back like I said you got the third row seat still got a lot of room back here too even when it's uh, up so I'm gonna pull that up for y'all in a minute but let's open this up for y'all to see so you just pull that up like that Got your little organizer, so nice material. Got the spare tire down there. You got your cargo net um, divider right there to put it up. You got everything you need in this car right here. You got your you know little hooks right there that's how you let the seats down so you just hit this button it beeps and then it just lets it down so it's right here you let that down like that and then it slides forward so it makes it easy to get in and out so pull that up so now you got the third row up so got to do the third row test can't forget about that so I'm gonna leave that like that and I'm gonna get over here so all right now I am kind of cramped up but truthfully I can go on a little road trip granted we'll have to break every now and then you know get out the car but it is comfortable back here I can go to sleep head rooms you know it's not the best but you got two three inches of room right there you got your cup holders got your speakers right there with the third row up you got that much room back there you know you could sit you can sit your family luggage back there go on the trip cup holders on this side speaker right there as well man these seats <laughs> i know y'all like man would he shut up with these seats hey you come see these seats go to go to a Mazda dealership or if you're here in Houston come to this one and check out this one it's, it's here on the showroom man check check out the one with the all burn leather seats I'm telling you these seats is crazy just just you know let me let me get up at it see this is the thing my foot stuck so like I said now if the other seat was back too oh man I don't even want to know you don't even want to know so we're gonna go ahead and slide that back. And then you just pull that back. So that's how that goes there. So let me Google the horsepower for y'all real quick. Cause I don't, I'm not an analytical person. Didn't really know the horsepower on this one. So while I Google that, just take a look around. So, and this one you get 227 horsepower at 5,000 RPM with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. So let me pop the hood for y'all. Show y'all underneath the hood. So that's the button right there to open the trunk if you don't want to use the 
one on the key fob there you go i mean not the trunk but the hood y'all i don't know if i said that or not i don't know <laughs> does have a blind spot right there open this up There you go, the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine right there. Nice and shiny, everything's clean. There you go. So, like I said, this vehicle right here as equipped is $45,290. So, and for this big of a vehicle, you know, that gas mileage is, is excellent. 20 in the city and 26 on the highway and 23 combined. So, you need a good family hauler, you know. There you go. Then you even got the, you know, memory seats, chrome little accent and buttons, lumbar support and all of that good stuff. Let me see, let me see if y'all can see that if I step back out. So you see the ambient lighting right there and then like I said it's in the door as well over there it's in this door as well too I don't know if it's just because the door is open but it's, it's a nice touch to it as well now this right here feels big and bulky like not in a bad way bulky but like in a good way like you you want it to feel massive when you're driving a vehicle of this stature nice shifter right there you got the space for the phone so ladies and gentlemen this concludes this video i will see you in the next stay tuned i got more car reviews for you guys if you're here for the very first time like comment subscribe if you've been here i thank you again i can't thank you enough thank you for rocking with me